Digital platform workers and their rights are still at the centre of an EU-level debate. And unions say they are worried about the influence of lobbyists. Last December, the European Commission proposed a new directive on platform workers' rights. And on Tuesday, a demonstration was held outside the European Parliament aimed at protesting the strong lobbying activity made by platforms like Uber. In July, the Uber files were uh, disclosed and it shows uh, that uh, Uber has escaped strategies to not respect the rules, that they have also high contacts with politicians uh, and that they are lobbying hard uh, to avoid legislation. More than 100 people from different European trade unions took part in the demonstration. One of their points is that Uber increased its budget for lobbying from €50,000 to €750,000 over the last eight years. According to the so-called Uber Files revelations, the US-based company co-opted MEPs, European Commission staff and national representatives at the highest level. On Tuesday, a hearing was held by MEPs to assess the influence of Uber and other similar platforms on EU policies. All this was explained by Mark McGann, the company's former chief lobbyist turned whistleblower. When politicians tried to stop us or slow us down, we co-opted democracy itself by leveraging consumers' political power, putting very public pressure on elected officials to back off, drowning them in millions of rider petitions. We told politicians that we would agree to stop the controversial, illegal Uber pop service if they changed the law in the way that we wanted. We weaponized our drivers and we weaponized our customers. He also said that scientific research that was presented to European lawmakers was not properly independent. When I was at Uber, we paid academics to use skewed data sets to produce numbers that favored Uber's position. The data would show high earnings because the data didn't take into account the time that the drivers were waiting between one trip and another. The EU's anti-fraud agency, Olaf, is also investigating the case of Neely Crows, the former EU commissioner who allegedly lobbied on behalf of Uber during her calling-off period when ex-commissioners are supposed to remain neutral.